Okay, everyone, and we are back with more Thracia. So, yeah, we're going to be doing Thracia a little bit because, you know, the Thracian characters for Hero gets released in five days, and I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood to play some Thracia, even though my boy Fergus won't be in the game. Maybe one day. He will be someday, maybe in like three years. <laughs> the game's still going on. Still going strong. Still making We got moves. all thousands of characters we can keep using, guys. <laughs> and we'll make sure we never use Glade. <laughs> never. So yeah, yeah. we ha so, so we're gonna be bringing Leaf. Fergus is fatigued, sadly, very sad. Hicks, because yeah. he's basically going to be the pr guy who could probably saves us. Lara for dancing. Carrion, because why not? Because I, I kind of need him. Serum is sadly fatigued. God damn it. Sappy, because why not? We're actually. I think I'm gonna promote her this chapter, or I'm gonna give her one more level and then promote her. Uh, Marita, because... I don't know, like, I think I need to, like, use more units. I'm, like, running low on some. Oithen, because I gave him an, a stamina drink in the last chapter, and I might give him another one, because he's going to be doing a lot of the fighting in this chapter. Alright. Uh, Asvel, because we need him. Like, he, he's mostly going to be one of the main um, fighters in this map. Shiva, I'm probably going to promote him this chapter, because he's level 15, so I might as well promote him. Nana to mostly for healing and also to recruit Homer. Owen, because I might as well try. Tanya, because you need an archer to deal with the wyverns, I think. Because I think the the Thracians come in as a fight come in on wyverns. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Um Tina, cause, you know, why not extra healer? And finally Rodan. We're gonna okay. we're gonna make we're gonna make him useful, okay? Okay. Alright, and there is an arena I'm just here. gonna believe everything. Just give him a Crusader Scroll and they'll be good, right? Oh, yeah, you have no idea. Here he is. He's decked out in every scroll possible. <laughs> I think those are good <laughs> scrolls for him. Yeah, I'm not sure this is a good chapter to use him in, but uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's just see where this goes, guys. And Owen, I gave her the remaining. The o Odo and Seti. Not that they're gonna help Ronan out anyway. I mean, I mean, the... Said he would help out his magic. Yeah, All should right. help. So let's do this. And we already did the introduction for this chapter because I, I saw the video. Yeah. And now here we go. Yep, we enter the the gates to hell. Oh, wait, well, but... it's very fitting music, I'd say. Yeah. I like the part when they stopped moving. <laughs> So, wait, uh, where is Nana? Nana, there she is. Alright, ride to Homer's house. Alright, and... I forget, are the ballistas effective against flying units? Should be, yeah. Alright, and Dean, I believe he had. yep, he comes with a lance, so... Oh, and, and the are... Dean scroll. The Dean has the Dean scroll. Yeah. So, I don't remember what the Dane Scroll gives. I'm pretty sure it's... Let me look it up. Alright. Serena's Forest, here I go. Serena's Ooh. Forest, here we come. So, Hicks, let me see. He wields axes, so... Plus 5% on strength. Okay. Plus 30% defense, plus 5 movement, but minus 10 speed. So, it's really good to bulk yep. up a unit that's really fast already. And... So, so it's best on like say a sword master where their speed growth is so high it doesn't or, matter or we could give it to ronin to boost that two defense right there <laughs> i guess but we got <laughs> other stuff too i am really wondering how i'm gonna get this dude to level 10. i don't i I'm, don't think you can even get him that far actually all right, so let me see. I'm gonna equip that, that that dire thunder and wait. Oh wait, can't they bust this down? They probably can. Oh god. Okay, that was probably a bad move on my part. Yeah, just get a guy there to like defend that plot. Nobody, no, that spot. Nobody will stop, right? Uh, I forget. Oh man, is, wait, hang on. Is Dean in danger? Okay, no, no, he's not. Let's see. Visit. Yeah, we have to visit these houses because apparently it's important to the story. Yeah, if you get enough, you have to get a couple of them. Three? Yeah. 
That way you can get the guide in chapter. All right. So let me see. Wow, Leaf has 10 movement? Jesus Christ, that is a lot of move. Uh, mm. Let me see. Where did I... Where is my... Uh, Where's my knight's proof? Uh, come on, who has it? There it is. Steffi has it. Uh, Tanya can move right here. Sappy, where are you? Okay, wait. He's over there. Okay, I gotta give. I'm gonna give Shiva the Knight's Proof so that way I can promote him. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to the side with Shiva. Finally, he can promote. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I think it's a good thing. I mean, he looks ready. I'm, I'm hoping. Did you say pretty? I said. <laughs> no, I didn't say pretty. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember what I said, but I didn't say pretty. All right, two strength, one magic, three skill, one speed, two defense, and that's yeah, it. that's good. Yeah. yeah, you can give him the Dane scroll. Yeah, he looks. Oh wait. Oh yeah, no, he already had solar. He comes with double though. That's good. Adept, yeah. other, it's also known as adept. Yeah, adept. I'm sorry, I j when something just like says it like that, I just like, you know, go in and like read it like that. Oh, well, Tina got a movement star, All right. I wonder what that means. Hmm. So do I. What does it mean? What does it mean? All right. Uh, oh my god. You can see I don't know what the hell I'm doing already. <laughs> It's okay, I'm used to it. All also, right. it's because you're very, very rusty from not playing this game. It's been like a couple of months, I think, since we last picked it up. It's just we've, That's what I mean. We ha we've done all this stuff. Like, we had ROM hacks, PMEs. I mean, like... Not that I'm complaining that... I don't. I mean, I'm not saying I hate coming back to this game. I mean, this game is a good game. It's, it's, it's unique. Yeah, I guess. Speed that up. Please get a good level up. Nothing. All right, fuck off, Laura. <laughs> fuck you, man. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right, and already I'm making a safe state because I don't... You don't trust it. I don't trust what's about to happen because I don't even remember what Homer was. I think he was a bard. Yeah, he's a bard. Uh, okay. If I remember correctly, the bards... I don't remember what they do. Oh, there he is. They're just magic user. Oh, what? He can't wait. What? No. Oh, he has a lead. Nice. All right. I make it easier on you. All right. Let me move him here. Let me see. How much defense? Five defense. This guy does 20 damage. All right. Yeah. Not as fine. Carry on. He's a lance user. Okay. Yeah. He can go over to the right side. I'm sending Hicks to the left, carry on to the right, and Oithen down to the middle. Alright. Though, of course, we're going to get hit from all sides, so it doesn't really matter. I guess you could say we got to buy more time. No, we are not bringing that... Oh, oh my god, alright. Oh my god. Okay, now Yay. I see why this chapter is this hard. I... Yeah, this is pretty much the... Uh, if you made it this far, if you can beat this chapter, this is how you know you can beat this game. They just tear down the gate with an axe. Like, the, seriously, were those walls made of paper or something? I could tell you what it's made out of, but you wouldn't like the answer. You see, since this is a Nintendo Try game, me. this is a Nintendo game, so they're using the walls to promote the current Project Labo. So this is an entire city made out of the cardboard <laughs> that you would see from Project Labo. Oh my God, that stuff is literally shit. Seriously, what? That's not... I don't understand it. I mean, I know kids mommy, like arts and crafts, mom, but mom, mommy, I can wrap my I can wrap my Nintendo Switch in cardboard. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's a silly <laughs> idea, in my opinion. Oh, I mean, there are people that buy it just like how people bought other silly things like the PlayStation Eye Toy or the Xbox Connect. And already dead. Yeah, let's let's reset. Okay, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't think Let's I... talk about failures in the video game industry. Have you ever heard of the Apple Pippin? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, um Have you ever heard of the Philips CDI? 
No. Back in the early 90s, Nintendo wanted to make a CD add-on for the Super Nintendo, like how the Sega Genesis had a CD add-on. They worked with both Sony and Philips to try to make a CD add-on. In the end... Yes, and in the end, both Sony and Philips wanted more freedom with, like, they wanted more rights over the system add-on itself. Even going as far as Sony trying to say the CD add-on will be called the PlayStation, and all profits would go to them. Nintendo, this was when Hiroshi Yamauchi was in charge. He was known to be a very big asshole when it came to third party. In fact, his reputation his reputation with third parties from the 80s and 90s is still keeping third parties away from Nintendo to this day because it was that bad of a relationship. Oh, all right. And pretty much Yamauchi told told Sony to suck my balls, this is going to be <laughs> Nintendo. Well, it, in layman terms, you know how Japanese businessmen are. They... They yeah. could say fuck you in five different ways. <laughs> no, I understand what you mean. So Sony said, fuck this, I'm going to make my own game system and it'll have blackjack and hookers. Unfortunately, the blackjack turned out to be Crash Bandicoot and the hookers turned out to be Tifa and Eris from Final Fantasy VII. It's not a joke on them, it's just I couldn't think of any game characters from PlayStation that... Cloud is the biggest hooker of them all, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Cloud is the hooker. I mean, you, we've all played that one quest where he gets in drag, and then the Mafia boss then proceeds to sodomize Cloud. Yeah. That was a funny scene. <laughs> but a Good moment in Final was, Fantasy VII right there. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII was a good game, but I digress. Can't wait to see that remake, if it ever If comes it out. ever comes out. <laughs> Square Enix is like Valve, where they don't know how to release a game. Like, like it's like Half Life. It's like when is Half Life Three coming? It's coming. <laughs> That's all. The old... same time that Kingdom Hearts Three is coming out. When's that coming? It's coming. <laughs> well, I mean, there's at least we know that Kingdom Hearts Three is in development, unlike Half Life Three. Yeah, like Half Life Three, they say it's in development. I don't believe them for two seconds. I don't think they've said it's in development for about like eight, ten years now. Yeah. But with Philips... Their executive producer, like Half-Life 3, I think they said it was in development, but so far we haven't got anything besides that. Yeah, I don't trust it. I'll believe it when the game finally comes out, but with how things are going, or it's probably going to break the record that Duke Nukem Forever had for longest time in development. Seriously, Duke Nukem Forever was in development for a long time? Yeah, it was originally in like 1996, I believe. But the guy in charge, the, the director, anytime he saw something cool in a video game, he wanted to tell the development studio to start from scratch. So they had to keep resetting development on Duke Nukem Forever so many times that it became an inside joke that the director had to be forced in a padded room so he couldn't interfere with the development. <laughs> Wait, that's rumored? It's a rumor that they were joking about that. Oh, okay. If something was actually true, that would be kind of creepy, in a way. Well, I mean, if some guy kept trying to f t keep tampering with the work by changing it all the time, you get pissed off and say, enough is enough, let me work, man. <laughs> I, need, I need to focus on my work here. And then, years later, Gearbox got the rights to it, and what we got from Gearbox, it's like they got part of the foundation that they already had and then just rushed the rest of it it really felt like a rushed game despite nearly being over a decade old yeah oh nice oh in final fantasy 15 that was 11 years in development really? and it does really because i yeah. heard a rumor that it was actually in development for six months it feels like six months i don't know how like Square, Valve, I don't get those two companies, but as I was back with my story with Philips, Philips then got, with the whole Sony thing, decided to leave too, but they got a little deal with Nintendo with, like, oh. video game console. They could have the right to... Oh, yeah, that's the fake Shannon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we read that, actually, already. Yeah. 
It's okay. That's the fake but, Shannon. Or Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> please tell me that. Please tell me that's not actually his name. It's just uh, is it ever told what he is actually? All we know is he's a guy who looks like Shannon. People keep thinking he is, so he just went along with it to get some fame and whatnot. Okay. He mainly does it to get the ladies. In fact, in FE4, with a substitute character, if you walk into a village, you do see an imposter Shannon, so I guess... It's like poetry, it rhymes. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the words of George Lucas. Wait, what Balduck moves? If I kill him, does it end the chapter? No. So I have to last ten turns here? Yes. All right. Well, well, don't you just love that? Oh, and also you have to defend that one spot, and make sure no one gets there. So the spot, the spot that uh, Leaf is standing. Yeah. On. All right. Well, yeah. Le well, Leaf, Fergus gave you a job, so you're gonna do it well. Guard that door with your life, son. That's not Fergus. That's Hicks. No, no. And whatever you do, do not use that devil axe. No, Hicks is our sub commander, and you know, um, Fergus is like the he's the main. He's like oh. the general of this army. And I see now. And Karen's like the master of arms. I get it now, I guess. Okay. okay dodge. Okay, nice. Nice. Always on the second. Okay. My knights love critting on the second for some reason. Okay, now as I was trying to Sprite. remember what I was trying to say with the, uh, with Phillips, with their deal they got, if they were to make like a game system or a multimedia system, they could have the rights of some Nintendo IPs to make their own little Nintendo game on their system. Oh, really? Thus, the Philips CDI, when it first came out, they were not marketing it as a video game system. They were marketing it as a multimedia entertainment s system. Has it ever explain why they were doing that? Well, probably because they could. Oh, really? Oh, all right. It's like, if you're gonna, like, it ways it, it would be like how the ps2 when it was being marketed with that dvd player because well there weren't any good games on the day one for ps2 it wasn't until nice. around late 2001 that the ps2 finally had games same thing happened with the ps3 it took a little bit over a year before they were actually worthwhile games yeah, it's kind of like with the Switch. Like, right now, the Switch has some... Ha when the Switch first came out, it was like... There was The Legend of Zelda with, with Breath of the Wild, which I have to say was a good game that they came out with. And then it was just... Then there was, like, 1-2 Switch, and I don't know what else came out after that. It's Bomberman? <laughs> oh, my God. Do not you did, pick you didn't that... Like bomb you didn't like the Bomberman game? No. Do not pick that game up. If you, okay. If you are me, do not pick that game up. Well, I will say Bomberman on the N64 and pretty much any other game system, it seems to be fun until that really bad reboot on the 360. We've got to make this oh, man. very that's cutesy. The that's the game that made me hate Bomberman. I was like, what the fuck? Am you know, I this playing? cutesy character that everyone loves. You know what would be great? Make him a robot. <laughs> make him edgy. Seriously, what is that? Like, I heard Bomberman, and I was like, ooh, this game... Oh, man, they, there's a there's a Bomberman on the Xbox 360. I gotta pick this up. I walk in, go to a GameStop, and I find the game. I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? What is this thing? Which is even sadder, because there is a Bomberman that you can download on Xbox Arcade that's better. Oh, really? Because it's more traditional. Oh, wait. It's more, it's more traditional to what Bomberman is most known for. Multiplayer insanity. <laughs> What's uh, in this house? Don't I have to visit this with Owen or Dean? In that house is a mend, a mend staff, pretty what? much. Oh my god! Wait, wait, no, not that. It's it's a light magic tome. I on here it's called Resire. I'm trying to remember what we would call that. I'm thinking like Luna or wait, not Luna. Uh, I think that's the Nosferatu tome. Ooh, nice! I would love to get that. Yeah, uh, good luck with that, kid. And in this, what's in here? Isn't this where a Dean has to enter? Where it's the Dragonlands? That one? Yeah. Yes. The Dragonlands, if Dean enters. Anyone else, you get nothing. Oh, man. <sighs> it's pretty much everyone goes there and goes, Get the fuck out of my head! Alright, so I guess Dean and Owen have so much, some hiking to do. Yep. Okay, but with the... Back with the CDI. Right, sorry. 
You probably know what CDI will mean as an abbreviation, right? Yes, I do know that much. Okay, you know what CD is compact disc. Yeah, yeah, I knew that because, you know, I mean, like, that's why people call it a CD. Plus, it sounds cooler than saying, hey, guys, you want me to put in the compact disc? Okay, but what do you think the I means in CDI? Um, I have no idea. I'm not going to take a guess because it's almost, okay. I don't want to interactive. Sound interactive. So, compact They're trying interactive. To, I, disc. Compact disc interactive. It was getting the name of CD which was all the stuff you could get for the CDI than interactive to try to market off the multimedia. So on it, you would get movies, oh, nice. stuff like The Flowers of Roger Maplethorpe, which <laughs> is kind of like a little documentary about the photographer Roger Maplethorpe. Yes, and when you think the name Robert Maplethorpe, you may wonder, that's a very tame name. You don't know what he really photographed in real life. Oh. <laughs> So getting a flower display, that's probably the most PG-rated thing you could get from him. <laughs> he did some crazy stuff. Well, at, at during his time. Nowadays, it, it's, it's like National Geographic. Oh, nice. All right, finally got something. All right. All right, I still got to visit three houses, so... Hmm. I guess and I'm going to... I guess I'm going to oh. use Ida to visit those houses. Oh my god, they, do they keep coming? Uh, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, I mean, don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Oh but my. yeah, the, the, it's a siege, so it makes sense First that it's going to... Alright, wow, nice. Alright, so Karen... Oh, he's almost there. So Karen's on... That's is good. For, Karen's up first for defense, and Hicks is, is also getting some in. Yes, yeah. but back with the... Uh, CDI. Oh my god. They weren't trying to market it as a video game console despite it having video games. So you had different type of controllers, most of them being like remote like, but try to give the feeling that this is like a prototype DVD player. Yes. A lot of educational stuff. That's good. Yeah, a lot of educational stuff you were saying. Sorry. And then the commercials, it was more like those infomercials that you would get. Oh my like god. Yeah, you know those infomercials. Hey, hey. Yeah, do yeah. Oh my god. I pity And by anything. infomercials, I don't mean like say, "Hi, Billy Mays here for the Philips CDI. <laughs> Are you getting tired of looking at the Panasonic 3DO? Not anymore." <laughs> <laughs> Did he die in a plane crash actually? No, no, he hit his head on a plane and then the next day he died, but we found out the plane the the headache thing had yeah. nothing to do with it. He died of a cocaine overdose. Oh. It's sadder, I know, but Billy Mays, he's like, I was more saddened by Billy Mays' death than Michael <laughs> Jackson. That's what, that's the type of person I am. I'm that blue collar. <laughs> God dang it, my OxyClean guy passed away. <laughs> oh, Hicks leveled up. I think he's level 10. Yeah, now. that's good. Now see. I'll tell you what, that Hicks is quite the skill. individual. Oh my God. Look at all those 20s. <laughs> 2020. I think he's got uh, like three twenties. Is... He's like capped. He's capped almost everything. He's capped the build. That's good. Now that makes him like the strongest guy on the field. Yeah, he can wield a devil axe with no penalties, which is pretty impressive. We're, we don't say. talk about the devil axe for obvious reasons. With Mi me. Yes, in this. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a psychic. That makes sense, I guess. Like, oh, he, no. yeah. Some. Damn it. Some. Sometimes you can. Do it twice if you have like certain mage you reserves with speed. Oh no, but... that was a different mage. Oh, okay. Nice job, boy. Then. But with, and later on in the CDI lifespan, they actually got real commercials, and it gets even better who they had marketing them. I know there's another guy that was that was uh, marketing in infomercials. I can't remember his name. Anthony but Sullivan. That's the guy. Hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. <laughs> I'm the British guy of the Billy Mays. <laughs> I like the caboodle. Like, seriously, the, <laughs> the guy... Djibouti dub versions of oh yeah, the sticky thing or whatever. But the uh, Djibouti dubs versions of Anthony Sullivan and Billy Mays are great. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here for another fantastic product. <laughs> with kaboom, you can clean everything. Oops, someone tried to eat spaghetti in the shower. Not anymore. With kaboom, kaboom no one will see that. Kaboom, fantastic. <laughs> that was good. Seriously, the guy dies, and then two days later, they bring in Anthony Sullivan. That was very sad. Personally, I think they should have just 
put the stuff in market shelves and just make a grocery store available after Billy Mays. It's the only thing you can do. It's like what happened to the ShamWow guy. Beats up a hooker, goes to jail, <laughs> never seen or heard from again. Yeah, he was beating up Cloud from Final Fantasy VII too much. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Oh yes, but back with the CDI marketing. They got comedian and actor Phil Hartman. Most famous for, like, from Saturday Night Live when they were actually comedic. Or when he was in The Simpsons voicing characters like Lionel Hutz the lawyer. Or struggling actor Troy McClure. Remember those characters? Mm-mm. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such shows as... In fact, his voice was inspiration for the voice for the character Zap Brannigan in Futurama. Oh, all right. Look up some Phil Hartman. He's like, his audition for Saturday Night Live is one of the few times you can actually hear the judges dying of laughter. Very few people have ever done that with the audition, with the judges in the uh, SNL auditions. It's like, the only other time I've heard of anyone doing that is Chris Farley. Oh, really? Yeah, unfortunately, they're both dead. Chris Farley because he was a raging alcoholic. Phil Hartman because his wife murdered him. And people wonder why nobody gets married anymore. Okay, but back to the CDI with the games. Sweet the most, Yes, the most famous games that the CDI has are those Nintendo licensed ones. Yeah. Where they got some Dutch or Russian animation studio to make like little cutscene, animated cutscenes with terrible voice act you've probably seen these from like the various youtube poops whereas like there's oh. mario and luigi are walking down the street and then you can hear mario say to luigi i said the princess to invite us over for a picnic eh, luigi <laughs> but because of how the mario voice actor is talking it sounds like gay luigi and thus creating a meme or i hope she made lots of spaghetti they're so cheesy, they make you want to watch the animated Mario cartoons. They're that bad. <laughs> it makes you want to have Captain Lou Albano back. <laughs> or the Legend of Zelda ones. Link. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Then the freaking king. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Why would you ever care what your arch enemy is up to <laughs> when you're in a time of relaxation. In other words, what all true warriors strive for. I got So pretty much your homework today is look up all those old-fashioned YouTube poops where the CDI cart games were everywhere. It's like, anyone that wanted to make a YouTube poop, you had to make at least three based off the CDI games. And the CDI had one really bad flaw with, like, you know how every system has, like, a battery inside of it? Mm -hmm. The CDI, they put the battery in, but they put a chip over it, so if you want to replace the battery, you have to break into the chip and then get the battery out. And then void the warranty. <laughs> oh, it gets even better. Because if that battery dies, the system will not work any other system when the battery dies it still works it just won't have the clock thing internal clock it's a terrible hardware issue that they were too stupid to fix or they knew about it and didn't care and with the CDI Ooh, nice. around 1 million sold what <laughs> wow yeah Phil Hartman couldn't even get people to buy that But the only thing people know the CDI anymore is because of YouTube poops. What would you do if that's what the legacy of your game system is? I is a bunch of people is people getting a video editing software and then sentence mixing, mishmashing, and just pretty much shitting on everything you've ever worked for. In fact, even I have made YouTube poops. They aren't good, but they count. Yeah, I mean like I mean, I think if you, like, you know, 
if you're dedicated and put like your time and effort into work, it will pay off in the long run. Yeah. Oh my but god. With you, speaking of YouTube poops, the best ones, nine times out of ten, happen to be ones where the source is King of the Hill. Probably because the humor in King of the Hill is so dry, if anyone could make a so macabre atmosphere with it. Like this one guy on YouTube, Eliantos, look up his stuff. It's amazing. It's like if David Lynch directed King of the Hill instead of Mike Judge. Definitely check it out. All right. Miss. But yeah, back to the yeah. game. <laughs> We spent like. Are you winning, son? We spent a half hour talking about CDIs. Actually, yeah, that's pretty close to it. <laughs> yeah, if you want to talk about other games, failed game systems, I can help, like the Atari Jaguar. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get a system, call it 64-bit, <laughs> where we have all these processors, 16 bits, put them all together. It technically counts as 64-bit, but it's technically not. So what have we done? We made a clusterfuck. Oh, it's almost as bad as the Atari. It's. It's not the Atari Atari 2600, but it's close enough. No, the Atari 2600, that was revolutionary for the time. And then the 7800, that was... <gasps> people considered oh. that was going to beat the NES. But the thing is, there are a bunch of lawsuits <laughs> with a bunch of people working with Atari because they kept arguing over who actually had the rights for the games. So the 7800 had to be delayed two years before it could be released because of lawsuits. Imagine if, like, the Xbox, they're going to release the Xbox One, but then all of a sudden a bunch of lawsuits with rare EA Ubisoft, like examples of people, or even some of the people who made the hardware, lot sued. And you wouldn't see an Xbox One until like 2016. Oh my God! Jeez. Microsoft would have died. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Well, okay, I don't think they would have died, but their game market would have definitely died because Microsoft PC Windows. Yes. That's practically invulnerable at this state. Like with Sony, it's like the game market's the only thing keeping them afloat, while their film is so bad it makes like nobody likes it huh? <gasps> <laughs> Mother! and there go all my swirls uh so what have we learned okay fine fuck ronin okay yeah don't put ronin in at all get his scrolls away he, he's not worth it okay we're just visiting the houses with him that's what that's a, that's his mission he would check on the people yeah and give his scrolls away he doesn't need them did you hang on still though that is great his death <laughs> quote especially <laughs> with how my delivery goes actually no oh my god baldock how come you're so hard to kill well, he's a general, and also it happens to be Thracia. You had to add the Thracia factor. <laughs> All right, now since we're talking about failures, you know, can you can... me. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, uh oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes. Yes. No, this cannot be. Yay. Hit points, skill, luck, defense. Nice. All right. Okay, so I'm on here. List of video game failures. I'm going to look at the game systems themselves. Tell me if you ever heard of these. The 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. Nope. This was a game system made by Panasonic, I believe. Let me check just to be sure. Does Panasonic make batteries? Yeah, okay. <laughs> So, a guy and a bunch of people who work with Amiga. Amiga. And then getting a guy who works at EA to create a video game system that's CD-based in the year 1993. During the 16-bit wars. And you know what they launched this game price at? The system as its price in 1993? 200 bucks? 700. Oh my god. No one has that much money. I mean, that's people... why it failed. Also, it didn't help that everyone cared more about Sega and Nintendo games at the time. <laughs> really? People cared about Sega back then? Yeah, Sega was awesome. 
in the 80s, Back it was... Back then. No, okay. Hey, Valkyria Chronicles 4, I haven't played it yet, but it, I want to. And also the Total War games, they're published by Sega now. Sure, a lot of them are questionable, but Medieval 2 Total War is awesome. And that's like a 12-year-old game now, my god. Okay. But yeah. Pretty much Sega is more popular in South America than North America. Especially <laughs> Brazil. Okay, other ones. The Apple Pippin, we know about that. Sorry, Jaguar talked about that. The other ones. Dreamcast, that is very sad because, well, great games, but the Dreamcast was eating money beforehand and they had nothing else to do with it. Oh, here's one for you. Have you ever heard of the Gizmondo? No. A Swedish video game... Wait. It was a handheld gaming device in the year 2005 to compete with the DS. Only 14 games were ever released. Short <laughs> battery life. The plastic on it itself, when your system overheats, the plastic will actually melt. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus, Dean. The people in charge of making it happen to have been getting funds from the Swedish Mafia. <laughs> so maybe that's why it failed. Just imagine if, like, the Swedish Mafia comes to us. Why haven't you paid us? <laughs> this is what I invested in. What the hell is this thing? It's a, Gizmon it's a Gizmodo. What's it do? It plays games. What type of games? This one's called Sticky Balls. Yes, that's the name of an actual Gizmodo <laughs> game. Sticky Balls. Or Mama, Can I Mow the Lawn? <laughs> Who are you marketing this to? The Hyperscan. Okay, that system. Mattel. Let's make a game system where you just get a card, have it scan, have five minute long loading screens. <laughs> Release this during the launch of the PS3 and the Wii. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad idea. The Nintendo 64 disk drive. Pretty much uh, N64 floppy disk drive. Japan only. Nine games released. <laughs> Such a sad thing. Ooh. Or you know how mobile gaming? I present the original thing. The Nokia N-Gage. It's a game system that you can use as a phone. Oh, the Ouya. I remember the Ouya. Remember the Ouya? Uh, no. Good. It's, it, let's just say it's one of the reasons why Kickstarter is a bad idea. Let's see, CDI, yep. Pioneer Laser Active. Let's make a game system that uses laser discs. Do you know what a laser disc is? Uh, no. You know vinyl records? Nope. You never seen a vinyl record? Nope. Okay, you know what a record is? Yes. That's a vinyl record. Oh. Okay. Imagine a CD the size of that. <laughs> That's a laser disc. Imagine making a game system with that thing. Damn. All right. No. The Sega 32X. The Sega Saturn. That's a sad one. I have two financial failures in my house. The Wii U is considered a hardware failure. I wonder why. We're going to name it after the Wii, and everyone's <laughs> going to think it's a Nintendo Wii add-on, and we'll wonder what the <laughs> heck happened. And the marketing was bad, too. We we're going to market to families, shouldn't? Because I've learned something over the years. If you want to get the most people, you market it towards teenagers because the little kids, if you see the teenagers going for it, they'll think, I want to get that too so I can be as cool as that teenager. Because kids think teenagers are cool no matter what they do. <laughs> the Virtual Boy, don't get me started. All right, now video game financial failures like the games themselves. Daikatana, Duke Nukem Forever, E.T. the video game, <laughs> Okami, that's a sad one actually, oh. Shenmue, uh, Psychonauts, oh. Pac-Man on the Atari, 
Uh, sonic Boom. The, the, you know, the Sonic where his arms are not blue. <laughs> that one. Oh my god, these video games. They're killing me. Oh, that's sad. Beyond Good and Evil. That was actually a good game. I don't know why it failed. Probably because the budget was more expensive than the people buying it. Sad. Brutal Legend. Okay, that's for the people of Psychonauts. We bring Brutal Legend. That was also, despite selling a lot, it had too big of a budget. <laughs> I've noticed something. This guy who works, uh, Tom Schaefer, he seems to make high budget games. Everyone loves them as a cult status, but they all financially flop. So he just makes cult status games that don't give him money back or the people he works with money back that's strange all right okay now i got another article for you games that are considered the worst of all time et on the atari 2600 <laughs> what is he the cdi games yep the cdi games are on here <laughs> the oh. legend of some ones oh god Shaq Fu, a fighting game where you play as Shaq. <laughs> Shaq. Bubsy 3D. Superman on the Nintendo 64. Superman 64? Oh, man. Superman 64, yeah. You've heard of that one? Uh-huh. Now, here's one I never heard of. The Simpsons Skateboarding. I never even knew they had a skateboard title. It must have been that bad. <laughs> Ooh, Aquaman. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the worst superheroes ever. <laughs> oh, that remake of Bomberman that you talked about. Mm -hmm. Just Dance. What? Just Dance is considered terrible. <laughs> According to, okay, this is what Wikipedia says. <laughs> Despite being a commercial success and spawning a series of sequels, Just Dance, published by Ubisoft exclusively for the Wii, received predominantly negative reviews. Receivers, reviewers criticized its poor motion detection, simplistic gameplay, and lack of progression and additional content. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> now that's funny. Out. Hey. Oh no! Here's one that's funny. Final Fantasy 14, 2010. Hey, there was a 14. Yeah, I mean, how do you think you got to 15? Do you <laughs> think they skip numbers? Are you one of those people that think Final Fantasy only started when they got to seven? <laughs> <laughs> that used to be an actual YouTube comment <laughs> that people put everywhere. <laughs> It was supposed to be a spiritual successor to Final Fantasy XI, which was also a, like an MMO type game. So yeah, they try to make an MMO. That seems to happen. MMOs don't seem to do well unless they're World of Warcraft. <sighs> and I really wish I had an MMO for my Xbox One. They tried to do something similar to that for uh, Sea of Thieves, but that's more of like a alpha game at the price of 60 bucks. Yes, my god. They keep missing. Oh. oh, here's another one. Duke Nukem Forever. Did you already say that? Yeah, no, I'm just like... I Well, on negative reception, yeah. Oh. Ridge Racer on the PlayStation Vita. <gasps> Did he still have the scrolls on him? Did I answer your question? <sighs> god damn it. Okay. Take him off the map. And get the scrolls on people who don't die. <laughs> oh, the uh, 2013 Sim City. Uh, normally a single player game, and you have to be online to play it. And then some guy says, If you think that this game can be played offline, you're sadly mistaken, and people prove that guy wrong. <laughs> then again, if you say anything on Twitter, people will do their best to prove you wrong. In fact, pretty much don't use Twitter, kids. <laughs> It's like the first lyrics you hear in the song Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith. 
talk about things that nobody cares. Oh my god, Ronnie, you get a movement star even. God damn it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. <laughs> oh you heard god. about the stupid stuff they did in that? Yeah. It's not a good it's not a good game. The only thing that's on the disc itself is the tutorial. You have to go online <laughs> to get that big update to actually get the game. <laughs> Terrible. No Man's Sky, probably the just <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront 2 that came out last year. Didn't... How is that considered terrible? Oh, the loot box controversy. That would explain a lot. Uh, yeah, us Fire Emblem players, we're better than that. We don't need loot boxes. We got summoning orbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and then the state of Hawaii tried to ban Star Wars Battlefront 2 because of the loot boxes. Because, you know, it's considered gambling. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't understand things anymore. Oh my God. It's as if that whole Mayan calendar thing, December 21st, 2012, sent us not like ended the world or like reset something. It's just more of brought us into like that Berenstain, Berenstain Bear universe. Maybe, maybe they were right the whole time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, since I'm here, so did you hear what happened in China recently? Mm -mm. They now have like little cameras <laughs> on every street, so if you try to jaywalk, they'll scan your face and then send you a fine to your house. What? Yeah, I know. That's weird. It's just it's like, creepy. And people wonder why I don't like Facebook. <laughs> I don't want people to know everything about me. I like having a little bit of anonymity. That way, in case I do something stupid, I can just keep it between me and my friends. <laughs> but if I tell everyone about, like, so I just ate horse shit by accident because I was so drunk, everyone will know and then spread my stupidity of my drunken behavior all over the world. Like that guy when that Eagles fan after the Eagles won the Super Bowl. That brings a new meaning to the word shit faced, I tell ya. <laughs> so yeah, back to this game. <laughs> we are not doing a good job. <laughs> We're talking about everything except the game. <laughs> Probably because we know this is going to be a very difficult stage and we're just trying to use this as like a sedative to in decrease the pain. Mm-hmm. Because I, my hands are actually hurting from playing this game right now. You could just like try to find a way to configure it onto a handheld controller like I do. Eh. The pain. I mean, the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One controllers work well. And the pain It's keeps... like the only Xbox related thing I own in my house. The pain keeps me focused. <laughs> pain makes me go better. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, Hicks oh. is doing a good job. Alright. Man. So much, wow. better, so much better than Burlton. Oh, here's some stuff. The most expensive video game based on just the development alone is Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO. Oh man, that was a really good game. That was a really good game. I don't play MMO, so I have no opinion. Yeah. I just know it went free to play in under a year, and normally that means that they hit a financial slump and had to find a way to get more subscribers. It was a really good game. Yeah, but Especially it seems secret. to happen a lot where, like, wait, there is a... Wait, you're talking about Knights of the Old Republic? Oh, yeah, that game. Okay, I'm talking about the MMO, The Old Republic. Oh. <laughs> oh I okay, that, this is... this is we, we got a bit of a miscommunication here. I mean, you heard The Old Republic, and you instantly think of the good game. <laughs> so at least we got a bit of a training on you, but... Also, uh, for marketing, the most expensive game on based on marketing alone, same price as 
the development for the Star Wars The Old Republic, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that wasn't a bad game. Eh, Call of Duty is like... During this time, they were really trying to go for the edgy thing where you get to shoot up an airport by its day. Like, trying to, like, how can we end up one up it next time? You get to see a little girl get blown up by a car bomb. <laughs> Whoa, that's edgy. Yeah, you don't even show her body. Well, of course, it's a dead kid. You can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, who's that on the, de on the dead TV? That's you if you keep asking me <laughs> questions. <laughs> like you see your goddamn french fries, Billy. <laughs> my name's Jessica. Shut up, Billy! <laughs> Neglectful parents, I tell you. They're oh fun. my god. But overall, with inflation, Modern Warfare 2 is the most expensive video game ever made. Alright, we lost Shiva. <laughs> Again? <laughs> And then followed by that, Grand Theft Auto V, and then Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh my god, this chapter sucks. And then Destiny. Oh I did... my god. Wait, what? Is that a Destiny? I didn't know about that. Oh, but overall, but here's something. Why did music the most change? That normally is the music for when things are certain doom. Oh, well, we, we just lost Shiva, so... Well, uh... you're fucked. <laughs> we lost the Edge Lord, so... We're yeah, you're fucked. You lost the edge. All right, but the okay. most expensive video game from the 1990s, adjusted with inflation, Final Fantasy VII. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, mm. this is what Wikipedia tells me, and Wikipedia is not known to lie, right? Yeah. Sometimes people put in some bad sources here and there. <laughs> but, I mean, like, they don't lie. Well, try not to. I mean, they're paid not to. But it gets kind of silly when you go to, like, say, the Steam or Valve Wikipedia page, and it says it's owned by Santa Claus and it's located <laughs> in hell. <laughs> or you go to the Shrek page, and it's just a picture of Mario. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're going to, like, like shitpost a Wikipedia page, do it subtly. Like, say, the Vistula River in Poland. In Polish, it is known as the which translated is come at me, bro. <laughs> See? That is subtle because nobody's going to read a whole paragraph. <laughs> but when you put a picture of Mario, people will notice. <laughs> He's like the second most identifiable video game character right after Pac-Man. <laughs> that and famous. What about Mega Man and Sonic? Where did they rank on that list? Sonic is probably in the top ten. <laughs> Mega Man is probably in the top 50. <laughs> Maybe if Mega Man Legends 3 came out on the 3DS instead of being cancelled, Capcom, it probably would have been more recognizable. Seriously, they said, we cancelled the game because we don't think people will want to play it. Motherfucker, did you <laughs> see the reaction people had when you cancelled it? That is a terrible excuse. And then what did, what, what did Capcom do after that? On disc DLC, game game data already on there. You lock it until people pay extra for stuff like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, inferior to number two. In fact, we should be playing Cap Marvel vs. Capcom 2 right now. In Mario vs. Capcom? No, Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, it sounds like you're saying Mario. <laughs> Mario <laughs> vs. Capcom. The in other words, <laughs> the NES in the 80s. <laughs> Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was a great game. Yeah, third was really good too. I didn't like the third one based on the whole on disc DLC crap. I just. Oh. If you already have the data on the disc, you <laughs> should not be forced the customer to pay extra. Yeah, that's well, just bad marketing technique. I really don't want to do a food analogy because those are very cliched, but <laughs> I'm going to do a food analogy. <laughs> what would you do if you ordered a German chocolate cake, and they would not let you have the coconut pecan frosting, uh, even though it's on it, until you paid extra. I am not going to answer this. I'm not good with food analogies. Or... Like, okay, the cake. Cakes come with frosting. Yeah. 
the chef or the baker, whatever you want to call the fucker, the, <laughs> these guys trying to force you to pay extra, so he's a fucker. The professional fucker at the local fuckery <laughs> is trying to have you pay extra for the frosting, even though the frosting's already on the cake. It's like you're already paying for the cake, for the ingredients, for the labor costs. This is getting outrageous, sir. And then he says, well, you're just entitled, and then we'll write an IGN article about how you're a fucker, <laughs> even though he's the fucker. Oh, yeah, watch out for that ballista. Of course. So, yeah, that's right, we're playing a video game. <laughs> so, I think I know a good title for this. We do everything, we talk about everything except the game we're playing. <laughs> it's like that one time when Red Letter Media had a review for the Star Wars Holiday Special, and for about a whole hour, they talked about everything except the holiday <laughs> special. And then, because of that, they had to make a part two where they actually <laughs> did talk about the special. They'd rather talk about everything else, like fun fact trivia about George Lucas to a movie called Ishtar. They did not want to talk about that thing. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of expensive games on here. Hmm. Did you know that the uh, Witcher 3 game is cheaper than the Tomb Raider remake on two years earlier? Oh, really? Yeah, by about $21 million in budget. Oh my god, calm down, please. And between the two, Witcher 3 had the better graphics, so I guess forcing some Polish guy with a computer to... To make better graphics or he doesn't get his vodka for the week <laughs> is better than getting some Canadians. Make a better game and maybe we'll take you out of your basement cell. Yeah, but you know the Polish, they don't have basements. They're stuck <laughs> in an attic. Damn, in man. Western Europe, you get stuck in a basement. <laughs> Eastern Europe, you're stuck in an attic. We are backwards like that, you know? Not with those Irish people. They got quite a conundrum. They don't know whether to eat potato first oh my or cement it for later to drink. Damn, that <laughs> that's a good level up. Everything but magic. Magic doesn't. It's a. You it's, know, it's, magic. It's there. Oh, now here it is. One of the biggest disappointments I've ever seen in video game history Watch Dogs. What? Really? Watch Dogs? You don't remember the Ow. stuff with it? No. What about it? Uh, was it like it was it the Sonic 06 of shooters? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's like it was they promised all this stuff and it just it felt like a beta compared to what they were promising earlier. In fact, they even downgraded the game like when they're showing the E3, everything looked amazing. They actually have evidence <laughs> of them downgrading the graphics and all that upon release because I don't know. I don't know why they did it. One theory is because they didn't want to have like the PC version look better than the PS4 and Xbox One because people will want to get the PC version because everyone talks about how great the graphics are on the PC. It's right. just weird. All right, we are on turn six out of 10. Somehow, we're, we are still breathing. Oh, now here's something. Really expensive games that were canceled, so it was a big waste of money. Uh, MMO for Halo. Oh, what? $102 million down the drain because they did not want to make it. They were making it, put all that money in, and then canceled. I'm going to find out why they canceled. It had a closed beta test li limited to Russia. Okay, that's that's where the problem was. <laughs> don't you know you don't f have a Russian play video games? Bad things happen. Look at look at all the online servers that when the Russian plays the video games. They're like the worst people to play video games next to Brazilians. <laughs> You've had that experience, Rad Rex? No, I have not had that experience. I, and I oh. would not want to have that experience. Oh my gosh. It's like there you are trying to play a game, then you have like five people typing in backwards letters about <laughs> whatever they talk about in Russia. Like maybe they're talking about 
their favorite sucking the Winnie the Pooh. From our sucking, sucking the sucking the potato salt from a rotten potato. <laughs> I don't been... understand this potato. It's too <laughs> rotten. So I try drinking it. It tastes rotten. So I drink it hard. But I think the rot will be go away. Yes, nice shot. Hex capped luck. Uh, speaking of Russians, I did have a Russian customer. Like, it's either a tourist or just recently moved here. But it's like, I want. The rest, I want napkins. And I was like, he said it so so thick. I thought he said napkins, but he pointed to the bathroom and said, the last one. <laughs> How? That is the thickest accent where I think of the complete opposite. <laughs> like, oh. And then I was like, oh, here, have some napkins while you go in there. That's free toilet paper. Like, oh. <laughs> have you ever had something like that where someone's accent is so thick uh -huh. that you think that you just. Any stories? Uh, I don't have stories, but I have had that experience. Okay. I I see. I'm the storyteller today. <laughs> okay. But, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. You know that E.T. game? Yeah. Guess how much, when adjusted from 1982 to now, guess how much that game cost? Uh, five cents. No, no, like with marketing development for oh. those six weeks they had. Two thousand dollars or something like that. I wish. <laughs> 56 million. Oh my god. No wonder why they buried that sucker in a de desert. De a desert? Yes, I know. It's like a desert, but more extreme. <laughs> it's called, We call it a desert. <laughs> Final Fantasy IX is pretty expensive. That was, I don't know why nobody... It's like I'm the only one who really likes Final Fantasy IX anymore. No one seems to talk about it as much. I have to say, we, we don't talk about that game. Why? Are you thinking of the one the one with Squall? That was a... Squ Wait, really? Yeah, oh. you, that was Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy IX, you played as some cat guy. <laughs> or some guy with a cat tail. He's either that or a monkey tail, I can't tell. Hey, the, hey, it's, oh fi it's, fi it, it's Final Fantasy, okay? Not, not, um, not, um, uh, Dragon Fire Ball Rumble. Z. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> It, the next time on Final Fantasy, Squall contains the seven-star Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here is quite possibly another big disappointment. Have you ever heard of the game Too Human? No. You are... For those people who say, like, you live under a rock, at moments like this, <laughs> be glad you live under that rock. <laughs> this was a game Ow. made by the people who made... Eternal Darkness, which is one of the best horror games of the early 2000s. In fact, I like it better than the original Resident Evil games. Definitely check out that game on the GameCube. Or on a Dolphin if you don't have a GameCube. Like I said, get a GameCube or a Nintendo Wii that can play those backwards compatible. So this is it. Yeah, for I'm me. gonna hit you! Oh crap! I missed. Oh, oh crap! I missed again. Ow! You look, you look son of a gun. That hurt. Son of a gun. Hit right. him with my knife. All right, so let me. You're gonna get it. Yeah, graph caliber. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm turning on animations for this because I want to graph caliber this. Uh, Paul. I want to graph cal graph caliber Paul. 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 Jasmine, it hurts. Paul, help me out. Lord Broom, please reconsider. It is not too late. Uh, wait, who's Broom again? Uh, the Ishtar's dad, who's the main guy in charge of the Manthus district. And, and the least popular character. As yeah, the... now he is. Gotta say, though, I liked this boss because he actually had a character. He's just a disgruntled... Disgrunt? He's okay. a disgruntled commanding you officer. Make, you have to be making up this word now. Come on. That's a real word. Seriously, disgruntled? Yeah. Would you rather me say grizzled? <laughs> like, Good. he doesn't want to do the siege because he knows it's going to be a waste of time. <laughs> well, he wants least, to pull at out. At because, least he knows. Not just that, but he doesn't want to have too many casualties because he doesn't want to kill the villagers. The at guy, least... like, he's he's like, he's almost a Camus, but he's not a Camus. He's like a third dimensional Camus. Speaking third. of Thracia... To understand more of it, check out this guy on uh, Serena's Forest named Ollie Cad. 
Oh, I know him. Yeah, he's definitely good. He's very knowledgeable with Thracia. In fact, next time we do Thracia, let's see if we can bring him in. And I'm sure he will let us. He will join us. What could possibly be going wrong? He even had like a. I remember he had two videos, almost six hours worth of discussion of Thracia itself. He had some good information. He had some other guys too, but he's the guy I remember most. He's actually the one who's responsible behind our Fire Emblem for PME. And I like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then yeah. I heard about, like, he even worked with Mangs once. I don't know yeah, exactly what yeah, happened. But yeah, yeah, it was uh, the Fire Emblem for PME. I don't know exactly what happened, but it sounded like it was personal. He wants to keep it to himself, so I respect that. Mm-hmm. But okay. now, speaking of that, with people that work with Mengs, I gotta say, uh, Mecha is better than Gast. <laughs> Gast has only done three things that I can tolerate, or that I like. <laughs> Talk is, to me, boys. That's, that's definitely number one. <laughs> then a huge power gap. His support science. And then those uh, little MS Paint drawings of a plot summary. Hey, what the hell? Yeah, those are the Thracians. It has begun at last. Macroy, I trust you understand. We are here as allies of the Empire. Whatever you do, don't fight them. And then we catch up to Hall while the Empire is exhausted. That's right. This will be an important card when dealing with Bloom. Don't waste it. Of course, Your Majesty. Uh... My gosh, you sound congested. What? Oh wait, they're here to help me? No! I told you earlier, they are the only time NPCs, or as Mang says, the green unit will try to kill you. Oh. Can I kill them? As you... Yes, you can. No, also, I'm... Dean's is dead. It, is it allowed? Am I... Whoa, whoa, they gave a lot of experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can kill them, but um, Dean's dead. Uh... Do I really want to restart for Dean? Yes, I do. What? He's one of the best units. They killed one of my best units, you fuckers. Oh my god. Wait, I have oh, to start. Oh, don't do that, motherfucker. Oh man, I have to replay two turns of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, come on. This is really horseshit. I know. This, this, is, this is just more of like trying to laugh the pain away. <laughs> it just keeps up. We might as well fuck the pain away. <laughs> This go on back pages, escort service. Wait, did I visit this house yet? Yeah, then Radrex goes, Oh my yes, god. I need an escort for two hours. Why do you need the escort? I'm trying to play three shifts, seven, seven, six. I'll be over right away. No charge <laughs> at all. You get a... Yes, exactly. <laughs> I remember one guy had a story where he had like a actual escort come, but he says, we're only going to go to the six if you can beat me at Super Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> and then he said, at the end of the day, I kept my virginity. <laughs> my dad will be so proud. His dad would be that, proud of him, damn. I'm so good at fighting games, I'm now using it as a ballot, as like a crutch, as a crutch to try to see if people will try to beat me. <laughs> if you could beat me, you could fuck me. <laughs> oh, nice, damn. That, that sounds like a plot line in like a hentai. <laughs> like, like one of those action... RPG art head typings. <laughs> if like, the protagonist and, and can like, beat and, the boss. And like the hentai is like weird, but it's not like really weird. And it like features Squidward from SpongeBob. We don't know why Squidward is there. He doesn't belong there, but he belongs there. God dang it, SpongeBob. God darn it, SpongeBob. Stop jerking off next to my computer. I can't help it, Squidward. <laughs> I love tentacles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Square like slowly slips one of his tentacles into one of their like assholes. Oh dear God! <laughs> That's even worse than what I was thinking. Uh, we should probably change the subject. <laughs> yes, let us. I'm gonna put in a something I found. Wait, do you have a soundbite of the Wilhelm screen? Put that in. Okay, that'll be next. I just want to have this play. This is quite fast. This is simply called insult.avi. So it it's a it's another sad bite from one of those anime things. Stupid faggot little cocksucker. 
<laughs> no. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. There is. A... Okay, now Wilhelm scream. Here I come. Ah. Uh, I can't do a good Wilhelm scream. Not many can actually. I know it's not originally Star Wars, but it's not. It's from the movie that features Wilhelm himself. Whatever that is. Uh, you'll have to look that up on on uh, top ten Wilhelm screams. Okay, well here it is. <laughs> In fact, that sound bite. I mean, nearly everyone uses it from video games to TV shows to movies. In fact, I heard that because of Disney's rights to the well to the Star Wars movies, they're gonna remake the Star Wars movies just like how George Lucas did in '97. Good luck with that. And this, and here it comes. They're gonna replace the Wilhelm scream with this. That is not good. Well, I mean, it's Disney. They can do whatever they want with their Disney properties. I mean, who could forget what they did with Kingdom Hearts? Uh, do not get me started on Kingdom Hearts. Seriously, what is We're gonna that? make a game, it's gonna be loved, and then we'll forget to make a sequel and make side games for the rest of eternity. Seriously. Oh, we'll show a little bit of the game in development, but we'll never <laughs> release it. But I will say one thing. You will see Kingdom Hearts 3 released before Half-Life 3. <laughs> Yeah, that is actually true. Like, just imagine when the sun finally supernovas those last <laughs> nanoseconds of human life. There will be one person finally finding out Half-Life 3 is finally released. <laughs> it's released! Boom. Vaporized. <laughs> My gosh, this is great. You're laughing and all of a sudden you're crying. <laughs> How far are we? Wow. <laughs> you can make a feature film with this conversation. Okay, wait, did I move as well? Actually, yeah. no, not a feature film. More like an Ardman studio <laughs> film. Like Wallace and Gromit and the two guys who can't talk about their subject. In fact, I bet someone on YouTube already made, like, Disney Star Wars, but all the Wilhelm screams are replaced with the Goofy scream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, Donald Duck is one professional motherfucker if you ever read, like, the original DuckTales comics. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have? Yeah. I've also seen, like, uh, stuff like Spy vs. Spy. Oh, dang. But yeah. you don't know who Nirvana is. <sighs> <laughs> I'm making a joke. I kid, I kid. Uh-huh. It's... I, I don't know many people who've red spy versus spy it's like you and one other guy it's a very like like sometimes some of those things like some of those things are like brain, brain, almost like brain teasers to me oh like those things at the end of mad magazine yeah we just fold it yeah i think those are all right sometimes you can get a good one out of them mad magazine it's kind of like the middle school comedy nowadays it seems in I fact don't... even back then Okay, good. He, he's still alive and kicking. Uh, one damage. Nice. <laughs> uh, right. Let us look up some other stuff. There is one gaming website I definitely recommend checking out for news. It's called Niche Gamer. Okay, I thought you were going to recommend IGN to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck that shit. What do you think I am? Some type of mega fi Okay, I'm not even going to finish that one. <laughs> We're we're trying to keep a PG thirteen line up here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. oh you know, even though we said like the word fuck eight times, but yeah, we are way beyond the PG thirteen. Like we're nearing like R rated territory. Actually, no, we're yeah. in, no, we're already in it actually. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, SNK, the people who brought us games like King of Fighters and Metal Slug, are going to have a fortieth anniversary collection games like a collaboration thing where you know what i mean like those namco museums uh -huh. that sounds cool let's see what games are on it <laughs> the neo okay alpha <laughs> mission what? have you ever played that no okay tell me if you heard of these athena i've heard of athena from fire and i'm here is so... oh okay 
Crystalis or Crystalis. What? No. I- Ikari Warriors. Yes. Ikari no. 3. Gorilla no. War. Gorilla POW. War. You mean like Gorilla Warfare? <laughs> yeah, but they call it. Okay, I'm looking at this. This is pretty much the stuff from like before the Neo Geo. So this is like their arcade games before the Neo Geo, but it says there will be more announced. This is just what we know. Oh, okay. Street Smart, Vanguard, Victory Road, TNK3, whatever that means. So, yeah, okay, that sounds nice, but I want to know more of what's in it. All I know is those SNK collaboration games. Those are so much... Or compilation, that's what I'm thinking of. Those are so much cheaper than the actual Neo Geo cartridges. You know how expensive those games can get? Uh, no. Thousands. We're talking in the thousands, apparently. Yes, yeah, because like those Aww. things were originally supposed to be for arcade cabinets, but then someone managed to make rental versions for like hotels. <laughs> so like you go to like say Days in in the year 1994, ask the hotel clerk to bring you the Neo Geo, plug it in. So while you're out getting ready to go to a family get together on, in the hotel, you're playing King of Fighters. It was a cool idea. It's just well. It was so darn expensive. Then that one guy I read on like Craigslist or something got like six hundred dollar, like a six for just six hundred dollars, got nearly three thousand dollars worth of Neo Geo games because these two old people didn't know what they were. They just had their rich son give it to them. <laughs> I don't. Pretty much old people are oh, the best no. to buy for video oh, no. games. They give good discounts. They're back. Like that one lady who sold like the original Mega Man in box for two bucks. Level up. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Nice, Ethan. Nice. Oh, the SNK Heroines game. So pretty much those King of Fighter ladies and other SNK ladies are doing a dead or alive style fighting game. Okay, we're on turn 9 out of 10, so we gotta get Dean over to that house, like, now. Oh, yeah, and uh, upcoming, it's gonna get really dangerous. You know what the next uh, reinforcements are gonna look like? Um, Sages or Armor Knights? You're halfway there on the former. Oh, here it is. Remember last time I was talking about the rumors of the uh, Spyro remake? Yeah. It's now official. We're getting a Spyro trilogy remake like with Crash Bandicoot. Oh, nice. Oh, now here's something I don't get. Insomniac Games is launching a Spider-Man PS4 game, but it looks like they're trying to lock it at 30 frames a second. If you have that high of hardware, wouldn't you want to try to push the limits? considering how much you can do with it. Push the limits, because we're in it to win it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> with that much going on, you want to push the hardware limits. Let's see, what other crazy things? Um, Oh, they're S- Square Enix is putting Chrono Trigger on Steam. What do you think of that? Chrono Trigger, you mean? Yeah, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger, whatever. Hey, hey, hey you gotta say it right, or people will get triggered. Oh, I'm sorry, Trigger. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Trigger is not. Wait, what? What the fuck? Yep. When I said sages, oh, and here comes the best part. They get to move on the same time. I fucking hate ambush spawns. Now I sound like mangs. This right. is gonna be tricky. Paul, can you please just suicide on me? Ow, okay, never mind, don't attack me. Oh, come on, Jasmine, I can't possibly do that. <laughs> oh man, it's Carrion and Tanya out there. I think they could do it. What? Oh no, oh yeah. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Also, dark magic is a bitch in this game because it poisons you. One luck. Hey, Carrion, you're like me. Hey, nice. That's actually cool. Come on, let's see that again. Cool. <laughs> it's almost like the Ghostbusters ghost. Uh, Slimer, I think its name was. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Uh, oh man, he's gonna die on the next. E yeah, because poison. Uh, should we reset for carrion? Strength, skill, speed. Yeah, we should reset for carrion with that. Please dodge. Oh come on. Reset for carrion. Do it for him. <laughs> oh, the uh, VR uh, <laughs> bundle set for the PlayStation is got a price drop. It's still expensive, but it has a price drop. Oh my god, I fucking <laughs> This isn't even funny. I don't even know what to say about this game anymore. Oh, cool! Geralt from Witcher from the Witcher games is going to be in Soul Calibur 6. Oh, nice. Alright, that's... Well, I want to buy the game now. I but I'm it... still waiting for Taki. She was one of my favorite characters in the original Soul Calibur games. Wasn't Lake, it... in, wasn't Lake in, like, Soul Calibur 2 or something like that? Yeah, he was the Soul Calibur 2. Each of the, like, the Xbox, PS2, GameCube, each system got their own special character. GameCube got Link. PlayStation 2 got Heihachi from Tekken. And then the Xbox had probably, in my opinion, the weakest one. Guess who it was? Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. I wish. That would have been better. It's one you would pro Here's a hint. Comic book. Uh, Aquaman. <laughs> No, it's it's cooler. Sir, what? What the fuck? Um, here's a hint. It he it's a superhero that had a movie in the nineties. Superman. No, in the nineties. Oh wait, Superman's in the eighties. Come on, oh my god. And Christopher Reeve. Okay, it was Spawn. Spawn. Yeah. Who? Yeah, he who? is. Sorry, who? Spawn is it? Is that is he really that niche? Ooh, is Spawn really that non memorable? <laughs> Who's that again? <laughs> I don't remember. It, it's like if Venom from Spider Man was a superhero. <laughs> but there is one thing, like the. Uh, let's see. An hour and 20 minutes, and we've only been <laughs> we saw this map. This map is just oh, yeah. shit. This map is shit. I'm just gonna say it right now. Like the most memorable thing that a uh, the Spawn movie is known for was having the uh, what's that one that techno group Prodigy work on it for a song. It, you you ever heard of the Prodigy? Unfamiliar with it. Um, okay, um, you ever heard of the song Breathe? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm gonna play a bit and see if you heard of it. It's like, it's one of those, like, songs that I swear nearly everyone has heard. I haven't heard it, most likely. Well, let's find out. Why would you put... No. No. Really? No. no. Really? Yeah. Why would I listen to a song that's, that has the title Breathe in it? Hey, son, I want you to listen to this song. It's called the Breathe. Really? You never heard that? Yes. My gosh. Okay, I learned something new today. I swear, like, that's like the song when people wanted to do, like, a rip-off scene of The Matrix. They'd have that song in it. Well, I haven't I seen The Matrix movies. Okay, if you do, this is all you need to know. Watch the first one only. <laughs> it's like Star Wars. Don't watch the first three. They all end the same way. Obi-Wan Kenobi sidekick dies. Technically, the original trilogy is the first three. <laughs> Episode four through six. I don't trust Disney. <laughs> I had a friend who was a bigger Star Wars fan than me. He said it was more like Battlestar Galactica, so that tells you something. And the prequels are just... Pretty much the only thing the prequels had going for it, the following things. Pod racing. The oh. soundtrack. Oh, I thought you were gonna I thought that was it. Just pod racing. <laughs> no, the soundtrack too. In fact, from what I'm told, the soundtrack in the prequels is better than the current movie series that we're getting with Disney. 
It's like someone says, like one person I remember, a friend of mine, he says like the soundtrack feels like it's rushed. It doesn't have like a memorability compared to the prequels, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, okay. I see what you mean, is what I'm trying to say. I hear what you mean. <laughs> you understand this musical tone? Yeah, I understand. I hear <laughs> Hicks is at 67 fatigue. I can't keep killing them forever, guys! <laughs> this... He's too good. It's, it reminds me of, like... You ever seen the movie 300 or, like, yeah. Red of the uh, Battle of Thermopylae? Yeah. He is our Spartan. <laughs> I can't keep killing them forever, guys! Isn't it Thermopylae? I was told Thermopylae. Darn you, History Channel, you lied to me. But then again, History Channel hasn't been very... Informative? Or credible. Ever since the Ancient Aliens, or the uh, Ice Road Truckers, or Pawn Stars. Because when I think history, I think of pawn shops. When I think history, I think of a trucker on the ice. Okay, here it comes the fucking Thracians. Suicide on D. Did you know that Thracians are an actual uh, group of people in ancient times? Mm-hmm. I've heard oh, that. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad people... It's like, in fact, the most famous Thracian is uh, Spartacus. But people have been debating if that was just a nickname for him or if he was actually from Thrace. In fact, let's talk about Thrace instead of Fire Emblem now. <laughs> Wikipedia, Thrace. <laughs> it is currently a province in Bulgaria. Oh, okay. Bulgaria. So, in fact, yeah, Bulgaria. About a hundred years ago, their king decided to do something you would only see in like jackass TV show. You know what I mean? If you you seen you heard of that show? Yes, I've heard of that. I've heard of jackasses. Okay. So. I'm I'm King Ferdinand of Bulgaria, and tonight on Jackass, I'm gonna declare war on every country that borders me at the same time. <laughs> he was also the first uh, oh, political man. leader to ever fly in an airplane, beating Teddy Roosevelt. Even though everyone talks about how it's Teddy Roosevelt, it <laughs> wasn't. It was King Ferdinand of Brug Bulgaria. That guy was a very eccentric individual in a very isolated part of the world. What do you mean by isolated? Eastern Europe. You got a point there, Matt. Of course I do. Oh, dang it, I used my name again. I tried not to use my real name, and I did it for the second time. He's going to reach the, the the house on the next turn. All right. Those, oh. those healers have just been running this entire game. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Notable Thracians. Orpheus. Yes, that is a real name. Orpheus? Orpheus. It's like, Where I want to I... be named Morpheus, but I don't want to have a lawsuit. Orf. Isn't that the... Oh, wait, isn't that the name of the Persona 3's, like, Persona? Probably named after him. Because <laughs> Orpheus is a, is a figure in ancient Greek mythology. The fig the chief representative representative of oh. the art of song and the lyre instrument. Hang on, I got a voice like this. Oh, Dean, Lady Altena is waiting for you. Hello, Dean. I am glad you seem well. Lady Altena, what are you doing here? You haven't changed, have you, Dean? I came all this way to give you this spear. Spear, but this is the one of Dream Aryan's dragon lance. He wants you to use it. He was saying it was. He was saying that it is his apology to you for making you a traitor. It was me who chose to leave the army. I appreciate the offer, but I can't take this. Dean, don't step on my brother's kindness. If you won't take it, I will order you as the Queen of Thracia. <laughs> I'm no longer a Knight of Thracia. But very well. I can't go against Lady Altena's horse. I will take this dragon lance for now. Good. Dean, protect Leona with that spirit. She is to marry my brother, and I'm sure Owain... Aryan would have liked to protect her himself, but he can't leave the country for very long. I think that's why he gave the spear to you. 
I think you've misunderstood Lady Altena. Please don't worry about Lady Leon. I will protect her in place of Lord Arian. So yeah, we got a little bit of uh, lore here. So we can First he- off, if uh, the Fire Emblem 4 ever gets localized in the United States, it might just change its name to Orion because it rolls off the tongue better. Wait, over Arion. Is the Dragonlance exclusive to Dean only? Yes. Oh, oh wait, no, I think other people can use it too, actually. Well, we'll check next chapter to see if uh, if Carrion can wield it. Okay. But with something, you can see by how the text was, you can see that Athena, just like in FE4, has feelings for Arion. Despite him being in an arranged marriage. And with how Arion was talking in FE4, he probably thinks the same way as he is here, where he doesn't really want to get married to her. He just wants to bang his sister like the ancestral fuck he is. But yeah, back to notable Thracians. Protagoras, Greek philosopher. Herodicus, Greek physician. Democritus, Greek philosopher whose main contribution to human history is the atomic theory, the belief that all matter is made up of various imperishable, indivisible elements, which we call atoms. So yeah, Thracia was very popular. Hmm. Alright, last cool. turn. Numerous Roman emperors were of Thracia Roman backgrounds. Maximus Thrax. That sounds like a disease. <laughs> Maxicum, maximum fra- Oh no. It's like if you have the maximum intake of anthrax. <laughs> Maybe love. she will live. Maybe she will live. Let's see what happens. Good. Well, I mean, Don't it's kill. Their, it's their last turn anyway. Yeah. Licinius. Okay, and luck. Galerius. Aurelara. Okay. I'm terrible at Latin. I apologize, people. Leo the Thrace. Wow, that is like. Okay. That is the worst name for a Roman emperor, Leo the Thracian. <laughs> it's like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hit points, luck, and build. Okay. Well, if she keeps leveling luck, maybe she'll live. I swear to God, this last one's gonna hit her. Can't. It won't. You'll never. I refuse to believe Hit such points, a thing. Good. Skill and luck. She keeps luck. leveling. Yeah. She's kept luck. Uh, come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm sorry if anyone heard me smashing my computer. It's just that this fucking game is fucking oh, that's pissing you me called off. it. Um, let's just roll back again. I mean, it's just one turn. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I'm gonna just use the killer bow instead of the brave bow because fuck this shit, okay? So yeah, Thrace is a... In fact, it's not... Thrace is not the first time or last oh. time that... A real geographical place was given reference in Fire Emblem, like Crimea, a real place in the modern day Crimea, 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 Crimea. It's pronounced either way. It's like how some people call it America, or some people call it USA, or some others call it USA. In America. Mer- oh yeah, that's another one, America. <laughs> America. It's like people only did that just because of Team America, as like a as like a endearing jab at the movie. You know what I mean? But yeah. other places like uh, Orleans in the original Shadow Dragon before it was changed to Aralis. Dodge, nice. Or Macedon. Another ancient Greek place where most famous as the birthplace of Alexander the Great. Who doesn't like Alexander the Great? <laughs> Besides Persians. <laughs> Besides the people he took with him into the night. So or people in the Punjab. Yes, there we go. We're finally done with this shit. Father, wouldn't an attacking Tahar only be for the benefit of the Empire? The citizens hate the Empire. If we side with the people now, we may be able to create good relations in the future. No. Tara isn't strong enough to help us defeat the Empire. Do you remember the battle at Milgan Valley? No. Actually, no, I don't. I wasn't <laughs> there. I didn't read it in any history book. It must not be exist. Like the Battle of Baden Hill, it doesn't exist. <laughs> we lost to the Empire even with the help of both Northern and Southern Thracia. That was because of Reddick's betrayal. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I'll get explained with the whole Redrick thing. 
Perhaps, but either way, we are forced to sign a humiliating treaty. Northern Thracia fell into the hands of the Empire. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say the Empire's power is now ten times our own. And you still wish to challenge them. Do you think you can win? The people here will die. Is that what you want? No, you're right, Father. I was too imprudent. Father, I want to ask you something. What is it? Let me help with the attack on Tahar. Do you have a plan? Very well. If we were able to take this prosperous city, I don't mind how. Do as you will. Yes, thank you, Father. But don't take too long. I don't want to have to end up sending up my main forces. Yes, many citizens will die if this goes on. I must speak with Leon. Uh, Linowin. Linowin. I mean, you're gonna be arranged married. You better know how to pronounce her fucking name. Linowin, where are you? It's me, Aryan. Lord Aryan, what are you doing okay, here? Okay, you remember. Yeah, I know that old voice I used to. That, what that, are you doing here? That's not important. Tell your people to disarm and surrender. It will be a disaster if you fight now. Where is he? Unless he's hiding behind the stuff. Like, psst, use the force, Luke. <laughs> Why? This is not like you at all. What happened? My father is preparing a legion to attack Tahar. That's <gasps> not all. Loftos armed priests are approaching as well. Yeah. Oh, no. really? Really? Uh, I mean, didn't even notice. You mean those guys that uh, Tanya just killed? Those motherfuckers? If the Black Rose, Schwarz Rose, what? Schwarz Rose, and it's a German word. Schwarz Rose, and comes the. May the Schwarz be with you. The citizens will be massacred, every single one of them. And they left the city. The Schwarz Rogan. No, it's Rosen, not. <laughs> Where's Ro the G? <laughs> The Swars Rogan! I can't even say Rosen! He comes out as Rogan every time! The Swars Rosen! I was fearing this the most! Linowin, leave it to me. Thracia will capture Tahar. We will put. We will the put. What? We put the people under our protection. We will the put the people under our protection. <laughs> we, we will put an end to the child hunting, and I promise to protect you as well. How can you protect me if I'm not here? <laughs> What will happen to Lord Leaf and the other knights? They'll have to escape. The Empire is after, is after Fergus, and my father fears him as well. Very well. I will entrust the matter to you. Thank you. However, I will go with Lord Fergus. I will regret leaving my people behind, but this is our best option now. Once we defeat the Empire, I will return to Tara. We will prom Will you promise to return Tara to me once I come back? Defeat the Empire. Very well, I promise. But is this Prince Fergus really that trustworthy? Will he be an enemy to Thracia? Or a friend? Either way, I would like to meet him. With Altena. Oh, a little uh, fun fact. That big Tara in FE4 when you were doing the Thracia invasion, that big cluster of villages, geographically compared to the FE5 map, that is Tara. Oh, all right. Chapter 14 next, freedom. Oh man. Just the, no, no. Oh no. Save and we're good for the day. Oh my god, what is this map? Wait, hang on. I just wanna Ooh. get Okay, hang on one second. I wanna okay, get... let me it, well look on the bright side. That was one of the toughest chapters in the game and you beat it. How does that make you feel? Like a weight off your shoulders? Yeah. That's what it should feel like. Okay. Also, wow. you get one new unit in this, and that is Linowin. Yeah. It does she come right at the beginning of the map? Yes. And what is she, a mage? She is a sister, so she is like a light magic user. Okay. I think she can also use mages too. I mean, staffs. Mage? She can use mages? Yes, she picks up, like, Seti or something and throws him at people. <laughs> Do you think this would be a good chapter to bring Ronan? No. <laughs> oh, man. He's too far under leveled. There is an arena coming up. You do know that, right? That would be the better time to use him. Yeah. For now, just let him be on the bench or have him sit next to Sean, except <laughs> the difference is Ronan's useful. <laughs> There's a Sean carrying everyone's stuff. I'm useful. And then I'll, yeah, if you put Siegfried in this game, he'd probably solo everything. <laughs> probably. Um, or while uh, that's he a, might have a little bit of trouble with Redrick. Or better yet, put Glade in there. I can do it, guys. Wait, where's Glade? Oh my god. He, so, if he, you put him with the right stuff, he could be useful. Like yeah. a couple scrolls, and he could be useful. Yeah. All right, let me see. Homer, how do you think Homer? I am be? evil, Homer. I am. Sorry, I had to do that Simpsons reference. How good is Homer, actually? 
It's all right, but like with every unit, give them a Crusader scroll, and it's like nothing ever happens. But everyone's good with Crusader scrolls. Exactly, except Dogda. He's too shit. <laughs> he does have his uses though, because you high build and high strength will really help out with capturing. You can't buy magic. You can buy physical weapons, but not magic tomes. With my God, that's why magic is so tough in this game. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's like you think about it. Magic is a harder thing to. It's a harder thing to se harness in comparison to real physical weapons. Seventy-one fatigue. Hicks was fighting an army out there. He look at those twenties. <laughs> he, well, he needs a he, he doesn't need any stat boosters. He after is that. one stat away from capping strength and skill. The only type of uh, Crusader scroll he will ever need is one that gives him a boost in magic. So the high. No, Safi needs it more. Give him like setier. Uh, let me check a look at the magic ones. Uh, give him like uh, yeah, Heim would be the best choice actually. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, I, I am. I think we're good on this. Yeah, I can't. Let's uh, just save here and get this set up for the next video. Yeah, I cannot believe I'm still using Marita. I mean, like. She is a good unit. Yeah, I'm trying to use her, but it's hard because there's so many units that I want to use. This is like when the first time when you're playing a Fire Emblem game and there's so many units you want to use, you don't know who to use. I mean, Fun fact, oh, the wait, ones we, you like the most. We got Fergus back, yes. Yeah, he, he was taking a nap that whole time. Oh, wait, better yet, he was too busy playing he, he, Shuffleboard he, he with was, everyone, all was, the other benched units. Well, he was benched because he couldn't be brung. Yeah, he said, you know what, Leaf, you can take care of this. I could easily do this myself, but I trust you guys to take care of it without me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We c oh, wow, Dean can actually fly. Wait, is this an indoor map or an outside door map? Outdoor fog of war. Oh, my God, the worst type. And on the map that I have here, there is two mountains on each side, and you have to escape to the north. Okay. Also... You can steal from the Dark Mages some rewarp staves. That is a good thing to get. Hmm. Also, with every villager so has a stamina a drink. Okay. You get a stamina drink for each villager that escapes. Okay. If you went to all six houses in the last chapter, you could get all six of them. But how many did you do? Three? I think like five, maybe. We have five villagers then. I can't. I can't see them. And they they won't come yet. They are they come around later on as a reinforcement. Okay. Also, there will be Pegasus Knights. Oh great! Well, Dean can take care of them. Yeah. Uh, you. Well, yeah, this is a good one. Oh wait, do you want me to speak? Yeah, you voiced August. Remember. Uh, mm, we can escape from Tara, but with these citizens following us. Citizens. I'm sorry, Lord Leaf. I tried to tell them it was too dangerous, but they seemed determined to come with us. I see. How many of them are there? 1,295. I think that's a good reasonable number. Oh, 600. Oh, one villager counts as 100. Okay, I so I got that's... six then. I actually like that idea where it's like maybe all of that's like 1,000 so guys. So wait, right if there. one guy dies, 100 villagers die? I mean, it okay. like with genealogy of the holy war that's how i imagine things like one art is a captain yeah. of a hundred armor knights <laughs> i mean it's very dragon force or land grisser thinking i think I, I i i like that idea okay they are following behind us in groups but we can't take them all the way to lannister they'll die on the way they're weak they don't know how to fight have you seen ronan <laughs> Yes, we don't have enough power <laughs> to protect these people on the way. Even escaping this valley could prove to be difficult. <laughs> Ronan counts like ten people. He's an exception. No, no, five. <laughs> we'll, have to <laughs> we'll have to protect them until they make it out of the valley. That's right. We have to put Sean in the Sacred Stones PME as one of your henchmen. Yeah, I want. I I wonder who I'll make him. I think. Or better yet, make him Amelia. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. no. <laughs> I could make no. I could make him a Ewan or uh, maybe um. That would actually be cool. He's Siegfried's like Salen and uh, Sean's a uh, Ewan. That would actually be Salt pretty. Cool. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk about this off air. Right. When tell, it's time. Tell everyone to concentrate on defending the citizens. Fuck that shit, Leaf. This is why Fergus is in charge. Um, Fergus, what do you think of that idea? 
I said this sounds like a lot like Radiant Dawn. Let's do it then. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh my god. What the fuck is that guy? General Amicia, I trust you have the Pegasus squad ready. Yes, I have brought more than half of the entire fleet. They will be dispatched shortly. So he says, that is a guy. No, that's a woman. <laughs> no, on the right is a woman. Please. Have you seen her official art? No. She's like one of the very few well-drawn characters, in my opinion. That is actually... That but that's is... probably because I like look... green hair Pegasus, and it's like Pala. Seriously. She's that... one of my favorites, okay. But that looks like a guy, I just saying. I don't think so, but then again, I'm trying to see what you see, and I think it's probably the jawline. Maybe that's what you're saying. Maybe. If that seems to be the one thing, everyone's like, oh, she's good, but she has a man jaw. Like, wait, do we, get this, be... wait, do we get this person? Yeah, she is recruitable. She's tricky, though, but you can recruit her. How do you have to recruit her? When you get there, I'll tell you. Oh, wait, the route splits up next chapter, actually. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is she, wait, is she one of those units you can only recruit through the route split? I think you could get her in both routes. Okay, thank God. Good. Then we may return to Leinster. We don't need your here. I must stay and command my squad. This mission is to mop up the remnants of the enemy. You don't want to stay for that, do you? But my troops... Yeah, I'm sp speaking like a man. General Misha, this is an order. Return to Leinster. Very well. So that is a guy. Who said that? Yes, so oh, we get this that's the best music. I have that on yeah. my freaking MP3 player. That's how good it is. Yeah, I like the song and the music that was playing from like last chapter. Or it's like, uh, from the. Oh, wait, what? Oh, here's Lena one. What the fuck? What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Go back down. Go back onto her. I want to check that again on her. What? Can't she use magic items? Oh, yeah, she can. She can use everything. She can use anything good. magic except for dark magic. Bench. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on dark magic, but yeah, this is a good place to save and but like yeah, and all that. But, I mean, we had As though who could do her job better, and he has Graf Caliber. Like, what does she have? She has Torch Heal. She has Mage Knight four hundred four. That's a good upper thing. Okay, yeah, we're ending it on that. Yeah. Okay. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night. Yeah, and fuck that last chapter. Fuck it. <laughs>